Hey Sabre fans, Calvary Custom Sabres is here with a brand new lightsaber uh, off the bench. This is a completely custom build. It is MHS based, so all the base parts are from the CustomSabreShop.com and was designed by the client. Um, so let's go ahead and get into details of the saber. The design was sent to me, he said he wanted something reminiscent of a weapon or a futuristic um, gun. So. He had a lot of flowing overlays and shrouds, which um, I made sure to implement in building the saber. He also wanted it to look uh, used, so that's you see the scratches on the shroud and the little nicks in the hilt powder coating, that kind of thing. So he wanted to look used, but not dirty, just you know, field use. And so I did that for him. Um, in addition, he wanted me to make a uh, fog kill key or a fake kill key uh, right there so if you have a safety switch you have safety switches on guns as this is supposed to represent I don't know how well uh, you can see that but that is uh, what that looks like right there pretty cool little different feature not normally seen on a custom saber and uh, this box is a low profile box uh, made from TCSS grip material you can see it's just a little bit taller than the shroud. Provides a nice little lip and sets it apart, but also very low profile, so it doesn't interfere with your dueling. So I want to thank uh, Eastern57 for that idea. I was trying to figure that out, and he's like, why not use that? So I did, and it worked perfectly. Uh, Tim of the Custom Saver Shop did some incredible machining, incredible custom machining. He did uh, these vented grooves right here all the way around the axis of the saver and he did the custom blade holder right here so you can see these cutouts they were done by him and also these milled grooves he cut out for uh, me and the client so um, thank you very much Tim for getting those done excellent quality as always so final thing regarding the hilt is the base is powder coated in a trans color called black chrome very very nice color sets it apart from the aluminum but doesn't give a full effect of actually having a black so it's a nice little contrast but nothing overpowering so with all that being said the inside of the saber has petit crouton 2.0 and an 800 milliamp 14500 lithium ion pack the led is a led engine 10 watt blue with two blues in series wired for 2,000 amps, so they get each an amp apiece, so maxing out the petit crouton settings there. Switches, we got a 12 millimeter blue ring switch, uh, the auxiliary, and the recharge port in the box, and then a 7 segment LED bar graph that I made, and this just lights up whenever you pull the kill key, um, which is nice little cool effect. Something else interesting about the saber is this saber is set to not have any kind of flickering effect when the blade is idle. One of the really cool things about the Petit Crouton and other Plecker Labs boards is you have the ability to set settings exactly how you want them. In this case, the client doesn't like the flickering, and so I just turned it off and put the SD card back in, and it was good to go. So let's pull Kill Key. Sound font is made by Nightstorm. It's the Old Republic font called Tranquility. And let's go ahead and turn it on. And get the uh, clash effects. Get some blaster blocks for you. And of course, the lock up. Nice force sound. Let's turn it back off. So, there you go. That's a most recent custom saber I just completed. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the cons box below. I want to thank you very much for uh, watching this video. And until next time. Okay.